You know that feeling when your phone suddenly feels brand new, even though you haven't changed the hardware? That's exactly what's about to happen for millions of Galaxy users because Samsung's next big update, One UI 8.5, isn't just an update. It's a complete experience upgrade, and it's coming much sooner than anyone expected. Hey everyone, welcome back, Sam here. If you love staying ahead in the Galaxy world, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on that bell icon so you don't miss the latest updates. Alright, let's dive in. So, here's the twist. Samsung might be rolling out one U8.5 before the Galaxy S26 even launches. Yep, early access might open through a beta program as soon as late November 2025. It's the kind of move nobody saw coming. Because this isn't just another mid-cycle update. It's Samsung rewriting its own playbook. After dropping one UI 8.0 earlier than expected, they are now fast-tracking 8.5, possibly to sync perfectly with their AI expansion plan. But here's the interesting part. This beta isn't your usual testing phase. Reports suggest it'll include an all-new structure designed to let more users in, with smoother feedback loops and regional expansions. Meaning, not just South Korea or the US this time, India, Germany, and even more countries could get a chance to try it early. If you're using a Galaxy S24 or S25 series phone, or maybe even one of the new Fold or Flip devices, your phone might be among the first to taste one UI 8.5. And that's where things start to get exciting, because 8.5 isn't about redesigning what you already know. It's about adding layers of intelligence and personalization to how you use your phone daily. Let's talk about the new Galaxy AI upgrades, because this is where Samsung is clearly stepping up its game. First up, meeting assistant. Imagine you're in a global video call, someone's speaking Japanese, another person's using Spanish, and you're sitting there trying to keep up. Meeting assistant listens, transcribes, and translates live conversations in real time right on your screen. It's like having your own personal translator who never misses a single word. That's not just convenience, that's next level communication. Then there's touch assistant, and this one's brilliant. With a simple tap, anything on your screen can turn interactive. You highlight text and boom, options appear to translate, explain, or even summarize what you're reading. Long research papers? Simplified in seconds. Foreign language websites? instantly translated. It's the kind of small detail that changes how you interact with your phone entirely. Now here's where Samsung really flexes its AI muscles, smart clipboard. It doesn't just copy and paste anymore. It understands what you copied. Let's say you copy an address, it'll suggest directions. Copy a paragraph, it'll offer to summarize or save it. Even text from an image can trigger context-based actions. It's subtle, but it's the kind of intelligence that makes your phone feel alive. And for all the content creators out there, Social Composer is going to be your new best friend. Upload a photo or video, and the AI automatically analyzes the content, objects, locations, even facial expressions, then generates catchy captions, hashtags, and descriptions for platforms like Instagram, TikTok, or Threads. It's like your phone's writing coach just got promoted to creative director. But here's where the real question comes in. Will all these AI features remain free forever? Samsung hasn't confirmed. For now, they're part of the free Galaxy AI package, but long-term plans could shift based on how users respond. If Galaxy AI becomes an essential daily tool, there's a chance we could see subscription-based access later. It's a clever strategy. Hook users in with something powerful, then refine it over time. Now, Beneath all the flashy AI tools, there's something even more interesting about One UI 8.5's foundation. It's built on Android 16 QPR2. That's Google's quarterly platform release, which usually brings deep system level upgrades that most Android brands skip because they're so time consuming to optimize. But Samsung's decided to take it head on. That means smoother animations, faster transitions, and less lag across every interaction, developers have already spotted internal builds labeled SK version 36.1 with build prefix BP for a directly tied to Android 16's QPR2 structure. 
Translation? Samsung is not just polishing its interface. It's aligning the Galaxy experience directly with Google's most advanced Android core. That's a huge deal. Now, before you start searching if your device is eligible, here's what early reports hint at. The beta rollout will likely hit the Galaxy S to 5S to 5 Plus, S25 Ultra, and maybe even the rumored S25 Edge first, followed by the S20 for lineup, then the Fold and Flip series. So, if you're rocking a Galaxy S20 for Ultra or a Z Fold 6, start watching your software update section by late November. And if you're wondering why Samsung's moving so fast, here's a clue. Their competitors are rapidly evolving their own AI ecosystems, especially with Google's Gemini AI and Apple's push toward on device intelligence in iOS 19. Samsung doesn't want to be reactive, it wants to lead. One UI 8.5 is that statement, blending real-world usability with smart AI assistance in a way that feels invisible yet powerful. Now, one of the most underappreciated parts of this update is how it could affect battery management. Samsung's engineers are reportedly reworking adaptive optimization, so the phone learns from your usage patterns more precisely. Combine that with AI-driven power scheduling and you get longer standby times without sacrificing performance. If that works as planned, it could silently fix one of the most common complaints from Galaxy users, inconsistent battery life after big updates. There's also talk about visual refinements. Early test builds show smoother album art transitions in the music player, more fluid motion between app windows, and improved color adaptation for dark mode so UI elements feel more consistent and natural. It's subtle, but when you see it, you'll feel it dot as for the rollout timeline. Everything points to the beta going live around November 24, 2025, followed by a stable public release in early 2026, likely right before or alongside the Galaxy S26 launch event. That's when One UI 8.5 will go official. Pre-installed on Samsung's next-generation flagships, if the leaks are accurate, One UI 8.5 could easily become Samsung's most refined update yet, combining aesthetic polish, deep AI integration, and faster system performance. The kind of update that doesn't just tweak your phone's look but changes how naturally it fits into your life. And here's something to think about every year. Samsung tweaks how fast and wide it rolls out its beta programs. If 8.5 expands faster than expected, this might set a new pattern for all future One UI versions, potentially giving Galaxy users first-hand access to next-gen Android features months before other brands even announce them. So as we approach late November, keep an eye on your device updates, because if you're among the lucky ones to get the One UI 8.5 beta, you won't just be testing new software. You'll be part of Samsung's biggest leap toward the future of Galaxy AI, that's all for today's breakdown, and trust me, the next few weeks are going to get wild with leaks and confirmations. If you want to stay ahead of every Galaxy update before it drops, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on, because we're just getting started. Until next time, this is Sam signing off. Stay curious, stay tech savvy, and peace out.